The Sable Knight, an epic, by Joshua Lawrence Marvel, read by Garrett Grove. 10. The Sable Knight and the Three Guards Upon setting the old man down in a safe place to live out the rest of his life, the Sable Knight continued without frown. Exiting the mountains through a small pass, he came across three guards who declared that he would not pass through. The noble knight scoffed, anger built in his veins that he might be delayed till his blood boiled and frothed. He spake, Wilt thou ne'er let me pass through? Thy life is in my hands due to this injustice, as thou shalt see. Hath the devil sent thee to slow me down? If such is so, tell him that he himself must show, if he wishes for thy task to be completed, lest I put thee in a cask. The guard spake quickly, with evil glint in eye, words so sharp and filthy. Thy cause cannot be continued. Thy journey ends here. With our help thou shalt be subdued. Great dragon hath sent us to inflict thee with wounds, wounds of blood and pus. Thou might be king of Poitou, but thou art weak here in snow, our home and might over you shroud. Take up thy arms, O turn to fight, lest thou come to harms. Then drawing his sword, the sable knight advanced in snow and cloud, darkness coming quickly with the night, and struck at the enemy, shield raised, blood flowing freely. As rocks broke, armor bent, and swords and spear traveled in strokes. The three wicked guards met their match that night, as quickly as shards, find the heart and fill with death, his sword Hades guided, they gripped souls as they breathed their last breath. Hard they fell, their cries of anguish followed them to hell. In the sable knight with crimson robe laced in gold, with shield of iron and sword so cold, mounted his throne, his destrier, with knotted muscles, who followed his spear. Then continued he on his journey to tall towers, in the pursuit of family, 